It's Friday night. I'm Rick Williams. And I'm Kaylin Pride. The big story on Action News is the second day of public hearings in the impeachment inquiry of President Trump. Marie Yovanovitch told lawmakers today that she was shocked by the president's words about her during Trump's now infamous phone call with Ukraine's leader. She testified that she was, quote, shocked, appalled, and devastated that he insulted her during that call. She also testified that Trump's personal lawyer worked with a corrupt Ukrainian prosecutor to circumvent official channels and push her out of her job. This weekend, Delaware history was made. Greenville resident and now President-elect Joseph R. Biden will be sworn in as the 46th President of the United States in two months' time. Mr. Ridgway was inducted last night into the Delaware State University's Athletic Hall of Fame. He is also Vice Chair of the Board of Trustees, a co-founder of the John and Sherry Ridgway Endowment, and a proud member of the Class of 1975. Last week, the DSU Alumni Association hosted this year's Alumni Day. The occasion was one that brought many DSU alum back home. Not only to catch up with old friends, but to see the current state of the institution that made them who they are. When talking about continuing your education, there are many routes that you can take to reach your profession. This longtime Delaware Senator and former Vice President defeated Donald Trump, the first president to lose re-election since George H.W. Bush in 1992. In his victory speech on Saturday evening here in Wilmington, Delaware, President-elect Joe Biden said that the people of this nation have spoken and spoken they have. Students in the Quakertown School District that have an outstanding lunch debt, overdue library books, or even lost textbooks could be banned from dances and class trips. It's an increasingly common tactic for districts to try to get parents to pay up. As students and faculty at Delaware State University start a new year, they're also welcoming a new president. On Wednesday, February 5th, Delaware State University was honored to welcome Tamika Montgomery Reeves, the youngest person and the first African American to sit on Delaware's Supreme Court. In her historic victory speech Saturday night, she acknowledged the women of all races and backgrounds who have paved the way for the outcome of this year's election. A cloudy day across the area, and if you're planning on heading out tonight, you may want to bring an umbrella. Some parts of the Delaware Valley are seeing showers. Meteorologist Cecily Tynan is in the Action News Weather Center with a closer look at the forecast. Cecily? A jury in Bucks County has convicted Sean Kratz in the deaths of three men who were found buried on a farm. The jury deliberated nearly 18 hours before convicting Sean Kratz on one count of first-degree murder and two counts of voluntary manslaughter. Dean Finichario, Thomas Mayo, and Mark Sturgis were killed in 2017. Prosecutors say Kratz's cousin, Cosmo Donardo, lured the men to his family's farm in Solbury. They say Kratz shot one man while Donardo killed the others. Donardo was also convicted of a killing of a fourth man. We'll have much more on the verdict coming up on Action News at 6. 